We begin tonight with some new developments in a story that we've been following since yesterday. Bystanders helped save the life of a little girl after she falls into a septic tank while walking with her mother. Tonight, for the first time, the woman who gave the girl CPR and mouth to mouth is talking about what happened. ABC 15's Lauren Vargas joining us live at the hospital where that toddler is recovering tonight. And Lauren, you know, it sounds like this little girl's family is really lucky that this woman particularly was close by. Yeah, absolutely. Stephanie Chelsea Cunningham says she is by no means a medical professional, but her family has always made it a first priority to stay up to date on that basic first aid. And that was absolutely key in saving this little girl's life and the reason why she is here recovering at Cardin Children's Hospital. Chelsea and her family are visiting Arizona from Canada to escape the cold weather. They stopped by the swap meet off Papago Road outside Maricopa yesterday when they heard people screaming. Chelsea Chelsea ran over and assessed the situation calmly. And after seeing a man jump in and pull the toddler out of the sewage, she got to work. She says at first that little girl showed no signs of life. She just looked done. Yeah, but she wasn't done. <laughs> she had lot, lots left in her, I guess. So we just had to get it out. Of course, we now know that Chelsea was able to get that little girl breathing again. Officials tell me that little girl is recovering, but may be here for several days so doctors can keep an eye on her. We're so happy the story has at least a good ending and that she's recovering tonight. Thanks so much, Lauren.